dear students we can expect one more important bit in the green's theorem like in the examination point of view they may ask verify green's theorem for a certain particular vector function in order to do that you just recall your green's theorem statement we will be having left side one integral and right side another integral left side line integral right side double integral so in order to do the verification individually you are calculating the left side integral and the right side integral and just you make the comparison between the solutions if both the solutions are equal then we can say that green's theorem is verified maximum for any type of vector function it is going to satisfied by green's theorem so for example i just give you one uh, important problem you can expect in the final exams verify green's theorem for integral over c x square minus x y cube of dx plus y square minus 2 x y of dy where c is the square of the vertices 0 comma 0 2 comma 0 2 comma 2 0 comma 2 so this is the problem they have given now in order to do the verification you are calculating the individual integrals right so in order to do that first i am focusing on the left side integral what about the left side as per green's theorem integral over c m dx plus n dy you just compare you are given integral is it looking like m dx plus n dy type yes you just identify m it is x square minus xy cube and n y square minus 2xy so in order to do that the complete integral over the vertices of given square so as we did in the single type of integral line integral you are going to construct one square corresponding to the vertices so as per the vertices o means 0 comma 0 it is an origin point a some 2 comma 0 b 2 comma 2 c 0 comma 2 so the complete line integral of the vertices of a square is the combination of the four lines oa ab bc and co so simply i can say that integral over c m dx plus n dy equal to integral over a oa plus integral over ab plus integral over bc plus integral over co so based on that now i am taking the first along the line integral over oa so in order to do that you just look at the vertices of o and a what is a constant coordinate here it is y y equal to 0 in both the coordinate both the vertices so dy equal to 0 now that value you are substituting in your integral over oa m dx plus n dy here the changing is nothing but x coordinate it is 0 to 2 so write down integral over x equal to 0 to 2 in your m dx plus n dy substitute y equal to 0 and dy equal to 0 so that you are getting integral x equal to 0 to 2 it is x square dx now for this you just find out the integral value and uh, that you are going to get the answer is x cube by 3 and on substituting the limits finally 8 by 3 similarly you can calculate along the line ab so along the line ab here the constant coordinate is x x equal to 2 so that dx equal to 0 these values you are substituting again in m dx plus n dy and on making the simplification you are getting the answer minus 16 by 3 similarly along the line bc there the constant coordinate is y y equal to 2 and dy equal to 0 so on making the substitution in m dx plus n dy you are getting the answer is 40 by 3 similarly there is one more line along the line co here x equal to 0 and dx equal to 0 so that m dx plus n dy finally you are getting the answer minus 8 by 3 so therefore the complete line integral m dx plus n dy it is equal to combination of four lines and finally you are getting the answer is nothing but 8 so this is what we calculated in the left hand side integral now we are going to enter into the right side integral of your green's theorem right side integral is double integral over r do n by do x minus do m by do y of dx dy just for the given m and n 
you find out dou n by dou x value directly it is minus 2y and dou m by dou y value it is minus 3xy square. Since we are using double integration, we need to identify the x limits. Look at the vertices. x is changing from 0 to 2 from all the vertices. y it is also 0 to 2. So that values I am substituting in your right side integral, double integral, dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y of dx dy. So on making the simplification, first you do the integration with respect to y, substitute the limits, then with respect to x, substitute the limits and finally you are getting the answer is nothing but 8. So finally you can say that the left side integral it is integral over c m dx plus n dy exactly equal to right side integral double integral over r dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y of dx dy. In that case you can say that the Green's theorem is verified. Remember such type of problem if it is given verification means individually you are calculating the integrals and try to verify both are equal. So maximum you can get equal answer only. So nothing to worry. So this is one important bit in your Green's theorem state.